Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Cooper MDG, bringing you a collector booster box of Throne of Eldrain. Sorry, Wilds of Eldrain. Using myself. So the fourth box I'm opening. Fourth and final box, I guess for now, final box. Um, and uh, I'm recording sideways, but yeah, I guess I guess I'm recording technically vertically using my phone instead of horizontally. But I, you know, I'm just gonna flip it in editing. You guys will never even know. It's just uh, it's gonna annoy me a little bit. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this box here. Done pretty well so far. First box definitely was pretty insane with um, opening a confetti foil of uh, Smothering Tithe anime version. So let's see if we can top that in this box. I'm slowly learning how to order these cards so we actually have like a little bit of suspense here. Start with a Tottenham. Sir Armont, Boundary Lands Ranger, we've got an Unassuming Sage, Witch's Mark, Wicked Visitor, Mocking Sprite, we've got a Restless Bivouac, yes, this is somehow a land, this Ox, Sentinel of Lost Lore, we've got an Agatha Soul Cauldron, that's a nice hit, Intangible Virtue, Grasp of Fate, we've got a Leyline of Abundance, and our foil is a Rankle's Prank. A lot of people are kind of low on this card. Uh, I'm, I'm not not necessarily sold on it yet either. I think in the right deck it's very strong, but a lot of the times it's just like a bad card. And you just you draw it and it just does nothing for you. It's like a really bad top deck. So this is the um, enchanting, enchanted whatever foil. And then this is the regular one. Then here, these are just uh, the rares. I think these last two are uncommon enchanting tales. And just makes the pack a little more aesthetically pleasing to open. To like, you know, I guess the, the other thing is that it starts uh, going from uncommon to common, a little frustrating, but got a Virtue of Strength, Regal Bunnycorn, nice card, Scalding Viper, Oops. Okay, well, I'll just do that in a second. Grasp of Fate, Hatching Plans, we've got a Blind Obedience, and a Polluted Bonds anime art. Can't say that's one of the better ones, but the anime art is definitely pretty sick. And um, I am pretty sure that you get one confetti foil. This is my fourth box, and I finally got it down calling it the right name. I was calling them popcorn foils. I think you get one of those per box, so even if we got an anime art there, that doesn't mean that's like the most valuable card of the box. So I think we should still get a confetti foil later. But there is really only one way to find out, so let's just get through these cards here. As we've got a cruel somnophage. Italian's Messenger, The End, Curiosity, a Griffin Airy, we've got a Kindred Discovery, and a Baluna Grand Squall. <clears throat> so I guess this, the, that second slot, the foil, can be any card from the set, technically, so there is a chance that you don't get a great pull out of there. I guess that's the same with 90% of, <clears throat> excuse me, 90% of packs. So you're really not going to get any value. The only one I can think of pretty much guaranteed was Infinity, where you're guaranteed a Shockland, a Stroke of Midnight, it's sweet and uncommon. You are guaranteed a Shockland. Um, I guess you weren't necessarily guaranteed a Galaxy Foil, but you've got a Decadent Dragon, Yenna, Red to the Regent, the Iron Crag, Griffin Airy, Raid Bombardment, we've got a Shared Animosity, and a Goblin Bombardment. 
you were you were basically guaranteed to get one out of the box. So you knew you were gonna get a shock band. The galaxy foils obviously were like three times the price probably, so you know, you definitely wanted to get one of those, but you still had the opportunity to get some value, some guaranteed value out of there. Got a Gallant Pie Wielder, Woodland Acolyte, Gadwick's First Duel, Water Wings, Besotted Knight, Conceited Witch, Snare Master Sprite, Got an Elusive Otter, Fairy Blade Crafter, Italian's Messenger, Got an Impact Tremors Foil, pretty nice card, Compulsion, Got a Leyline of the Void, might, I think this is the most valuable Leyline out of the set. Anyway, and a horned lock whale. Lock whale. Not lock whale. Six pack. Be halfway through after this one. Definitely still waiting for a nice juicy hit, but can't complain about what we've opened so far. Definitely some very solid cards. Got a Johan or Johan. Collector's Vault. The Princess Takes Flight, Rat Out, Toadstool Admirer, Candy Grapple, Limited Bomb, Cooped Up, got a Bramble Familiar, Godric Cloaked Reveler, we got a Baluna Grand Squall, which is this one on different art from the, I guess it was a showcase, we got a Season of Growth, Dragon Mantle, a Bitter Blossom, Anime Art, I think, maybe not, no. I guess not. This like text at the bottom is usually my reference. It just looks a little weird, but I guess it's not the anime. And we do have a Sir Ginger the Meal Ender. And speaking of Bitter Blossom, uh, one of my friends was drafting. Uh, kind of like, sort of like green black food slash bargain deck. And Bitter Blossom is, it's just so insane. I think. There were four times in the in the matches where he drew Bitter Blossom and he won all four, and there were two times when he didn't, and he didn't win those games. So just that card is just so strong, especially in a bargain deck. Were you able to like even like this? You sack the token six six trampler for five, and you gain three. Also like helps negate the life loss from Bitter Blossom. Got a Restless Fortress, Feral Encounter, Heart Flame Duelist. Raid Bombardment, Utopia Sprawl, got a Karmic Justice, and a Sleep Cursed Fairy. I think he also ran um, Vampiric Rites was sort of a way that if you were kind of stalled out on board, you wouldn't die to your own Bitter Blossom. You can just sack them, I mean, and also you get to draw cards. So it was just pretty nasty synergy. Bitter Blossom, very strong card. Got a Callous Sellsword, Hearth Elemental. The Witch's Vanity, Frostbridge Guard, Vantress Transmuter, Kindled Heroism, Rhyme for a Reindeer. We've got an Ashiok, Wicked Manipulator. Sweet art on that. Throne of Eldraine. I think this might be the most valuable commander card, full art foil. Lich Knight's Conquest, We've got a Dark Tutelage, Knightly Valor, We've got a Goblin Bombardment, and a Food Fight. So, not necessarily getting the greatest pulls in that extended foil slot, which hopefully means saving it up for something good in these last couple packs here. We've got four left, including this one. Yep, four left, so let's go. Three bowls of porridge, Ariette's Tempting Apple, Soul Guide Lantern, Rowan's Grim Search, Beanstalk Worm, Candy Trail, Freeze in Place, got a Horned Lock Whale, Court of Lock Thwain, Hilda's Crown of Winter, Hatching Plans, Garrick's Uprising, an Oppression, and a Sanguine Bond, which I think is definitely has some value. Sweet card. 
very useful in infinite combat decks. Probably more commander card than eternally playable, because it is five mana. But you never know. I mean, I don't know, so maybe someone does. Someone in the comments, let me know. Feel free to make fun of me. As we get into another pack here. Witchstalker Frenzy, Bitter Chill, Tenacious Tome Seeker, Moment of Valor, Obira's Attendance, Root Rider Fawn, Return Triumphant. We've got Restless Vine Stock, Court of Embereth, Farsight Ritual, Vampiric Rites, Intangible Virtue, got a Fiery Emancipation, and a Virtue of Strength. Which, eh, I'm not. I don't think it's one of the better virtues. I think the white one's probably the best. And that one actually might be one of the worst. It's a lot of mana to make more mana. Which I guess in the right deck is pretty sweet, but... A little counterintuitive, in my opinion. <clears throat> We've got a Ruby, Daring Tracker, Shrouded Shepherd, Eerie Interference... Fell Horseman, Into the Fey Court, Unruly Catapult, Kellen's Light Blades, we've got a Scalding Viper, Sir Ginger the Meal Ender, Pollen Shield Hair, Compulsion, Ground Seal, we've got, and as foretold with the anime art, just another one, and a Blind Obedience as well. Sweet card. Not the enemy art, though. And now we've got one pack left, and I don't think I've gotten one of the... Oh, God. I already forgot it. Glitter foils? I don't think I've gotten one, so... We'll see if that means we're due one, or maybe it's every two boxes and I'm just not very smart. I guess we will see. Knight of Sweets Revenge, Fairy Dream Thief, Graceful Takedown, a Crystal Grotto, Frantic Firebolt, Stingblade Assassin, Prophetic Prism, Virtue of Knowledge. This is a very strong virtue. I don't think it's as good as the white one, but pretty strong. Expel the Interlopers. Got a Virtue of Persistence. Also relatively solid. Utopia Sprawl, Spreading Seas. Got a Sanguine Bond and an Elusive Otter. So I guess it must be every two boxes you get the Glitter Foil, which seems reasonable to me. Oh, and cards are falling on the ground. Where did that go? Sorry, guys. I know the video is pretty much over, so, you know, uh, at this point, I'm struggling to get this card. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, as always, guys, God, we. This has been Cooper MDG. And uh, thank you so much for watching.